question carefully. Here, the daily marginal cost function is given here. C prime x is this function. So if we integrate this function, if we find antiderivative, then we get marginal cost, sorry, cost function. This is marginal means derivative given. If we find its antiderivative or integral, then we get the cost function. And read more. Okay, here is fixed cost, that's 900. So after we integrate the constant, if we put 900, so this is variable cost, and here is the fixed cost. If we add them, we get the total cost. Okay. Then we need to figure out two parts, part A and B. Find the total cost incurred by uh, in producing 300, first 300 units. In part B, producing 200 first through 300th units. Okay, pretty much 100 units, but starting 200 first and ending 300. Okay, so this is marginal cost function. Is it given here? That's the derivative. So let's find the cost function. So C is just anti-derivative of this. So we can write integral of this one, 0 0.0006x squared minus 0.14x plus 22 with respect to x. Okay, this is constant times x squared. Anti-derivative is x3 over 3, so divided by 3. 3 goes to this one, 0 0.00 0 2 x 3 over 3 I already divided this by 3 minus 0 0.14 x antiderivative is 0 0.14 times x square over 2 over 2 means 2 divide 0 0.14 by 2 using your calculator 0 0.07 x square over 2 I divided plus Anti-derivative of 22 is just 22x plus constant, okay? C is already used. Let's use some other letter, constant k. So that's the cost function. And this k, in fact, is a constant, which is the constant cost in this case. That's given 900. So cx is pretty much 0 0.0002 x cubed minus 0 0.07 x squared plus 22x plus 900. Okay, so this is the cost producing x number of items, x units, starting from 0, by the way. In part A, find the total cost in producing first 300 units. That means C evaluate this at 300. All that means replace X by 300. Just use your calculator, 0 0.002 times 300 cube minus 0 0.07 times 300 square. Okay, and it comes out to be 6600. Okay, so $6,600. That's part A. In part B, we need to find the total cost from 200 first through 300. This one is in fact producing starting zero all the way to 300. Okay, this is 6,600. In part B, we are asked to determine from 200 first through 300. We know zero through 300, that's 6,600. If we can find zero through 200, okay, if we, can, if we find this one, then subtract total cost of producing 300 
to 200. So let's find 200. Cost of producing 200 means plug in 200 here. Okay, this is the total cost function. Plug in x equals 200. Use your calculator, uh, 0 0.002 times 200 cube. Okay, it comes out to be 4100. But this is not the answer. This is the cost of producing first 200 items, 200 units. Now, I mean this, the first part A is cost of producing 300 units. Now we subtract this from this one and we get this. Okay, thus the cost of producing Okay, we, we don't have to show this one. This is the idea here. Cost of producing 200 first through 300th units is 6600 minus 4100. Okay, and that gives 2500. Final.